This is the Get Creative Podcast, highlighting real people doing real deals. Join Pace Morby as he normalizes the conversation about creative finance. And now, on to the show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Get Creative Podcast. Today, we have an amazing guest, a friend of mine who also is a total badass, getting ready to go on tour with Metallica, with Limp Biscuit this summer. Pretty epic. Chuck Billy, the man with two first names, is on our show today. And what highlighted us to get him on the show is his ability and his recent deal of a Novation Agreement. And so many people want to know about Novation Agreements. They're not anywhere online. They're really hard to find any information. And actually, there's conflicting information everywhere. So we're going to get into Chuck Billy's history. We're going to get into what Chuck Billy's been doing, what encouraged him to get into real estate, and ultimately how he just got a, I don't know, how much did you make, Chuck? Like $110,000 or something? Well, there's two of them. One was 187 and the other one was uh, 104. Guys, this is the man with two first names and two (laughs) Novation Agreements. Amazing. Totaling nearly $300,000. Pretty amazing. So um, Rochelle Jarvis, my beautiful co-host, is our transaction coordinator and my business partner, soon to be um, a partner of mine in multiple title companies across the country as we expand. And right when she found out we were going to be buying title companies, she decided to leave us and she is moving to Oceanside, California. Yeah. And we love that about our business, though. We can still do what we got to do, right, Pace? Doesn't matter where we're at. Yep. Love that. So, Rochelle, I'm going to let you kind of guide things today with Chuck. I want to just highlight how did he get into real estate? How has been the sub two mentorship? And tell us about these novation agreements and walk us through. Give us a couple of case studies. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I I could just take it away, but you know, I, I, I've been doing music for 35 years. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, not a spring chicken anymore. So I always thought real estate, cause I bought like four houses myself, fixed them up and turned them over for a profit and, and loved the process. So that's what made me think, Hey, that's maybe what I'll do, you know, when I'm done singing and going on the road. And so I signed up for another program and spent a fortune, a small fortune in this program. And really, you know, I learned the foundations, but I really didn't go anywhere. It really didn't teach me how to take action, I guess, is what I should say. And um, I felt, you know, I was just learning a different process, fixing up houses, getting hard money loan and, and, you know, not, you know, going that route. And then a friend of mine I was working with in Prescott that were working on the houses was actually in this other program. He found you and he turned me on to you and, and shortly after I said, Oh man, I, you know, I got to join that, that program. And so once I did, and of course the pandemic was on. So I think I told you that once I started in the modules, I didn't get out of them. I mean, I, I was, I didn't sleep very much. I was up and in module mode all through, you know, December and through January. And then, and then the mastermind came and, and then I really decided, you know, I, I want to get into that mastermind and go. And and it was funny because right at that time, me, John Poindexter, and Ryan Peterson, we were deciding that, you know, let's let's get together because I didn't know what squat up meant when I first got into the program, and, and I was like, what is a squat up, you know? And and so once I caught that, I thought, you know, it makes sense if I want to start a business instead of bringing people that don't know this, why don't I work with some people within the mentorship, you know? So I started reaching out to our, our Northern Cal accountability group and started picking out guys in there and, and we got together. And so it just so happened that me and John both decided to do the mastermind. And right when we finished that, we went out of that. So on fire that we were ready to go. Um, and ever since then, we, you know, we started that, that whole journey with the VAs and, and, and doing all the cold calling and follow-up calling. Um, and we gave it a 90-day window when we did that just to see if it's going to work and w- if, if it really makes sense to us. Yeah, I mean, everybody's got a different personality style, right? Yeah, and, and we found that because we weren't talking to motivated people. We were doing a lot of calls and had a lot of leads. I mean, I had like 65 leads. Ryan had 60-something leads, and we are calling, but they weren't motivated enough, and so – we found, wow, we're spending a lot of money and really not getting a lot of follow-up and there's a lot of touches here. So 
we after the 90 days, we analyzed what we wanted to do and we pivoted and, and decided we need to find more motivated people. And how did we do that? We actually, John, our integrator, he he actually went and signed up for REI SIFT and really started learning how to really deep dive and get motivated people and stacking lists and really going in and, and, and finding the information we needed. And it's been much better since then. And it's saving us a fortune uh, just turning it around that way, you know. Um, so we learned by the process just getting in there. And, and, and for me, Pace, just from the modules, what really kicked me in the butt was you kept saying, take action, take action, when just take action. So I, ha I, I took action. That's what I really needed to do. And that's what really got me going after that. My Gosh, favorite my part job. of that actually is you called me up because I was at the time I was raising some capital for a couple of deals in December and you called me up and we were debating on having you come on as a private lender of mine. And you said, well, I'm, you know, I'm tied up in these deals in Prescott and, you know, it was a great conversation. I was like, oh man, keep your money there. Keep working with your partners, all that kind of stuff, which is what I think you ended up doing. Mm -hmm. But my favorite thing you said on that call is you said, I watched all the modules from like A to Z. And it wasn't just the modules, it was the bonus Zooms that we had done, like all the Zooms with Rochelle, breaking down the contracts. And what you said is you said, it was kind of fun. It was like watching a sitcom of seeing how these characters developed, like Doug Lonza and Rob Robbins and all these other people, watching them go from zero to hero. And now you've got all these people as leaders of our mentorship and you were like, Man, I just left like watching these Zooms so inspired. Like I need to be a leader just like these guys did. And it was fun to watch the transformation of these guys taking action and how fast it really started happening for them. So is that what helped you feel the need to go and actually implement and get some traction in your business? Yeah, because I, I watched the process of when, like you said, they started as green as I was, you know, and, and didn't really know much. And to watch the process as they they grew and me watching through me going, wow, I'm learning through them and, and their questionings and how, the, you know, I, I didn't need to watch you so much. I was learning from what they were doing, you know, which was great. I was like, wow, this is amazing. So that, it's, so that pushed me. About the mentorship, right? Is that what like goes to say, you know, Doug and everybody else being involved was extremely helpful, you would say, and other people that you could watch go through everything and it was that and right away the um, accountability group right getting there right out of the gate was like really made me feel comfortable and doug took me in called me right away i think i was in that first wednesday you know and right away we we're just talking and ready to start doing deals and i got real excited because it's like wow all these people here are ready to work together and that's when i got it okay i get it squat up you know let's you know i get what it's all about here now if I if Rochelle and I start a band called Squad Up, will you take us on the road? Can we can we open up for you? For sure, for sure. Rochelle, Rochelle will do TikTok dances, and I'll be the lead singer. I'll be in the back. Right, yeah. uh, I love that. I love so it. Tell us, tell us about the Novation deals, okay? What I'm hearing is obviously you took imperfect action. This has said a lot in the entrepreneur lifestyle, and people just I think we need to have something written like in our rooms because this is what it is: imperfect action, and that's done in so many different ways. It's just about moving forward. So tell me how those novation deals came to fruition because you hear a lot of people say, "Start off with wholesale, start off with you know, make your way up, build," your, and it's so hard when you know about creative finance when you can get into homes in so many different ways because a lot of people don't have money. I mean, your career was in music. So we'll talk about that after this, but how, tell us how those deals came into fruition and kind of how you close those deals out. I mean, that's some major cash. I mean, that's yeah. huge, you know? So tell us about that. Okay, the first one, you know, I did, I was fortunate enough to find it actually in my hometown of Discovery Bay down the street. And actually I called this one was my karma house because I was, you know, Everything was about go giving, giving forward. So I actually seen a post locally of a real estate friend of mine who was looking for someone to help some clients move. And 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 I volunteered. And I was going to move them to Sacramento in my trailer. I said, I'll, I'll help. And it turned out that um, they were blind and deaf and they needed help in packing and stuff. So I said, yeah, not, no problem. I, I don't mind boxing stuff up. So the next day I called. She called me and said, hey, you don't have to worry about that. I, her son's going to come do it. Thanks for offering. I really appreciate it. And as soon as I hung up, a local contractor pulls up to my truck at, by my house and says, hey, my friend's got a house up the street that, 
he's looking to sell that needs a lot of work follow me and so i followed him and the house was he bought it in, in 2017 and he bought it for 560,000 and really destroyed it really didn't do anything never moved into it and so i seen it and and i thought right away novation and i was ready to pitch him knowing what i've seen and so when i met the owner i i i pitched the novation and he first thing he says well why would i do that and he's he's got three or four properties why would i do that i have money in the bank i'll do it myself and i'm like well it's been five six years and i i don't see that going that way and so i actually brought in ty guerrero at that point because i didn't want to blow the deal i said ty you know maybe you can help me close this with the seller and so we got on ty got on the call and we we're trying to close him and i was on the back of being quiet just listening to the call learning right. and ty's phone got cut off right before he started doing the pitch and oh, yeah. I was I was left on the phone by myself, like, "Hello, Ty, are you there? <laughs> Ty, where'd you go?" Here so, comes action. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I, I jumped right into action. I just went right. and followed the the novation pitch. Said, "Look, we're gonna our money. We're gonna take all the responsibility. You know, you know, protect you, indemnify you from harm, the whole thing." And and C says, "Well, let me let me think about that." And so he next very next morning about seven thirty, I get a text, "Ding, hey, let's do that. Let's do this." Wow. And I was like, "All oh, right, so there we had it." And did you, you know, use I, the did you use the contractor that introduced you to the house? No, he gave me a quote that was way out of line. So, oh. <laughs> I, but I, I did give him a thousand dollars after at the end of the day. When, That's good. Sold the house, yeah. you know? That's awesome. But um, you know, and and that one, you know, because of the market and and the cost, we went over budget. I think thirty thousand. We 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 locked the the seller up at 675 and he bought it for 560 so he was making a good profit on that and we Especially came after in, not doing anything to the house and letting it just sit for five years right yeah like, kind of totally falling apart i mean we had to take jackhammers in there because he put three inches of mortar with flagstone all throughout the house oh my and, God. and all the floors were uneven so we had to take jackhammers and i mean there's a lot of work down to the studs new plumbing electrical everything is that what is this why i didn't see you for a little bit in the mentorship yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and it was right up the street, so I was two minutes. I was there every day watching, making sure things were on time because I I needed it to be done by January for our July or June first. That you know the market's good here at that time, so I was on them <laughs> the whole time. So you bought it from him at six seventy five. What was your guys' renovation? Um, we started at eighty five. We ended up spending one thirty. Okay, so we you end up spending one thirty. So you're 675 into it. Who made the house payments while you were renovating or was the house paid off? Paid off, free and clear. How tasty is that? Beautiful thing. <laughs> no, no house payments during the whole entire thing. I'd say this is your karma house for sure, bro. Yeah, we agreed to pay his taxes along the way, just prorate them. You yeah, know. in California, that's like, you know, that's all right. 100%, yeah. Is that and how so you sold it to him though, Chuck? Is that what, because... You know, obviously we have to find always the pain. Every novation, people always come to me and I, I'm a broken record. They say, well, what do I say to this one? But it's really just the listening, right? To the seller and being able to provide a solution. So was that his solution? Basically, he just wasn't getting around to it. And you said, listen, let's just be real. You've been wanting to do it. You're not gonna do it because of the task. Well, that it, is that what it was? Well, he kept saying it's gonna be him and his wife's dream home. And he had another house in town as well. And yeah. so he was a retired plumbing contractor and just never got around doing anything to the house. Yeah. So he knew that he just had tools. I mean, it was a mess everywhere. He knew, and he really wanted 675 with a realtor. And it's like, there's no way you're getting that price. And that I really pitched that, like if you use a realtor, you're really gonna get six, you know, 40, whatever after six commissions, probably. I will give you six. Yeah, I'll give you 675 net at the table. And, and that's what really like, hmm, okay. And he, and he took it, but the thing is, we found out after we pulled titles that he actually had forty-three thousand uh, in back taxes that he uh, had owed. So, but he took care of that. He stepped up and paid that out of his money at the end, uh, out of the six seventy-five. So awesome. that worked out. Yeah. That is okay, so we we buy the deal for six seventy-five. We put in one thirty. 
So we're into this thing, 805 plus some miscellaneous costs like associated with taxes and some utilities and some stuff like that, I'm sure. Yeah. So you're into it probably about 810. Yeah. What did yeah. you guys end up selling this thing for? We sold it for 1.1 million in uh, three days. We put it, we got a pre three preemptive offers three days in. So how much money was t total made between like all the partners and everybody involved? Uh, well, we ended up giving back fourteen thousand dollar credit. So at the end of the day, it was like one million eighty five thousand and change or something, you know. Um. So there was three of us. We actually, me, Ty, Ty was a partner, and then I pulled in a contractor friend of mine as a partner. So we all went thirds on the rehab money, and then we all split the profit three ways. What was the profit again? Uh. Well, we each we each walked out of eighty seven thousand each. Eighty seven thousand dollars each. Three yeah. people walked away with eighty seven thousand dollars each. So you walked away with about a hundred and eighty thousand dollars in profit, which is awesome. Actually, no, more than that. No, more than that. It was just under two, two, 200, almost three hundred. Almost three hundred thousand dollars. You you were at like two seventy five, something like that. Yeah. Wow. And Holy our, moly! Our our, our number. ARV was thinking at the project was be 850 900. So we were getting nervous that oh man, and we're getting tight right. on the budget. It's getting we're going up and fortunately it was location. It, it was it, it was on a water location. It was desired spot and and um you know, three people came preemptively, you know, and and we came countered on the third one and they came back and said we'll take it. And, you know, so let, let's let's go I'm going to break this down just real quick. Number 1 you didn't have to get a loan for the six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Not a penny. Not a penny. Not a penny. You didn't even have to close escrow up front. No. You just had an agreement where you told the seller, "Let us flip your house essentially for you, and we'll give you a guaranteed dollar amount of six hundred seventy-five thousand." You then partnered and you crowdsourced one hundred and thirty thousand dollars between you, your contractor buddy, and Ty, who is also another sub two student joined the mentorship like almost day one. Unbelievable guy. Obviously, you know that you guys have become mm -hmm. dear friends and, and collaborators. And he you this is essentially the definition of squad up like, mm -hmm. let's get together. Sure. Let's work these deals together. You then go and put it on the market for $1.1 million after commissions and all. who was the agent who represented you guys? Ty. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't pay anybody for that part of it. So bro, Nice. <laughs> so you know? this is the stuff that people are like, it's, it's too hard. The market's too hard. And I look at this and I say, a real estate agent couldn't solve this problem. Mm -hmm. A real estate agent couldn't solve this problem. And Chuck Billy, Ty and Chuck Billy's contractor came in, did this project, walk, walked away with roughly $90,000 each. They never had to use their own credit. They never had to use any credentials. They didn't have to go out and get a loan. They didn't even have to buy the property to go out and make nearly $280,000. And then you meet a kick-ass guy, Ty, in this mentorship. And now you guys are like lifelong brothers, I'm sure, for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. I was trying to sell him that house because his uh, mother-in-law lives down the street. <laughs> I was trying to sell it to him. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So everybody paying attention to this, um, you've got Chuck Billy on on the line. Um Look at his email address at the bottom. It's scrolling across. It's Chuck at discoveryhomesolutions.com. Chuck, um, $275,000 on one novation agreement. When when did you even figure out what a novation agreement was? Six months ago? Six months. I mean, like I said, uh, probably sometime in November, December last <laughs> year. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? And then you got you have a second deal. Why don't you tell us about that second deal real quick and tell us what you made on that one? Yeah, the second one is another one is um, in San Francisco. Um, turned out it was a property that basically was going to get walked away from. Um, balance of about 250 on it. Um, it's probably ARV is about 1.5 million. Wow. And. Um, Basically, we came in, um, 
first we structured it as it was just going to come in and help to be, a, you know, a percentage, um, 10 percent. And it ended up turning out more than that, a 25 percent. So this is a weird novation, where as the other ones, I locked in a fee, which this wasn't. We were locking in to pay off the mortgage and then split profits on the back end. So that was the arrangement made on this, which and, and it turns out that it, it ends up being a friend that we know and we didn't know was in the situation. And, 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 and I think I'd like to say just if I didn't have this mentorship and know what an ovation, I wouldn't be able to help someone that's in my life personally. That, you know, so this one was really important. That's why it was definite. If it was if it was somebody that wasn't someone we knew. It would have been a perfect novation, like, oh my God, I'm going to pay off this mortgage and maybe shoot someone a hundred grand and, and walk with the rest. It could have been the novation of a lifetime. Right. Um, so, you know, it was just, it's weird the way that it worked out because, you know, we ended up getting, you know, 187 still on that one at the end of the day. Um, and, and ended up not having to, because here's the thing on that one is it was in a building that had very strict HOAs getting in and out with construction and everything. So it was going to take about six months just to redo two bathrooms and redo the floors, one hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. So at the end of the day, we're like, okay, let's do the math. If it's one five and I do one fifty realtor commissions, it's going to be you know one point one, maybe a little under that. So we decided let's. I got reached out to Uncle Lanza, reached out to Vince. Said Vince, here's the situation. He came over and looked at the place with me, and he brought one of his. Uh, people in an agent and he had a buyer and we sold it as is for a million 75 as My is gosh. <laughs> yeah so we didn't have to put up our capital didn't have to do anything we found the end buyer and and it was done so lonza got paid on this deal uh he didn't he was the kind of the go-to but again i'll probably throw him you know some money for bringing the uh, his agent to me and the buyer to me how cool know, is it that you you meet people in this mentorship that become like uncle lonza entire <laughs> like how cool is it that you can have like these brothers and sisters all over the country that you can just leverage for help oh it's it's, it's awesome i mean i think i've reached out to a lot of students tr looking for jv and you know like you said when i talked to you at first that was i was kind of a uh, private lender and I was like you know 10 percent 12 percent or whatever and I quickly learned that going the JV route is a better route invest in your money you know if you're going to go right. that being right more in part of the deal so I've been reaching out to a lot of students all the way across from Rick in Florida to Oscar and Chicago I mean a lot of people in there where I'm trying to do deals with so you know it's it's been great opportunity and the community's been supportive and reaching out and and now me john and uh ryan started another company um west coast fire pros and we're actually doing burned houses we're specializing in and working with uh the insurance company part of it and getting um supplemental claims and and depreciation checks um rebuilding the properties and we're actually in a course you probably know um elijah rubin I know Elijah yep. very well. I was just texting him yesterday. Yeah, we're working with Elijah and his course. And and so now we start a company, but it's that part of it. We're talking to people that are coming to us, but we're actually using the creative finance part to get these properties. Like this one house that's a water damage working in Connecticut. Um, we have to do a novation because once you change title, the insurance goes out the window. Right. So we're like, okay, well, let's drag this out and we'll work on the claim for the six months we rehab the house. Let's put it in a novation. How so again, cool the novation topped in, you know, to work out in an insurance part of it. So, you know, it's pretty amazing. wild. Amazing. Amazing. So I want to highlight a couple of things because there's a lot of people in here that are like, what's a novation agreement? And we, we don't need to necessarily go into that. What I want to go into is two things. One, if you guys are running into sellers that are having challenges, whether a realtor can't solve their problem or... It just looks like a, a deal. Like, look at this. This seller was going to walk away with 250 000. Like, they were going to walk away from this deal. You guys end up wholesaling it for 1.7 or 1.075. Unbelievable. Yeah. What I yeah. want you to do is two things. Number one, go to constantclose.com, hire Rochelle and the team. 
they can help out with novation agreement paperwork, finding the right title company, finding the right closing attorney, all that kind of stuff. And then on top of it, Chuck Billy, the man with two names, <laughs> his email address is chuck at discoveryhomesolutions.com. He can help you. He can JV with you. Him and multiple partners have capital. If it's capital that you need, bring the deal to these guys and Please. they will actually make the deal happen. They'll bring you in as part of the deal. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. With, you know, and especially, if, you know, anybody out there that's in our mentorship, you know, we've been reaching out, trying to get the fire burned, helping and assisting with that, how to navigate in the negotiation with that, you know, once you get paid out on a check to get houses cheaper. So, you know, we're here to help. How can I get tickets to this next <laughs> concert? And I, I'm happy Me to too. pay for them. Me too. Hey, we're, we're I think we're coming to Arizona as well. So no yeah. way. If you yeah. are, bro, half the audience <laughs> is going to be sub to hundred percent. Chuck, yeah. can I ask you one question? Yeah. And yes. I, I know we're going a little bit over time, but for me, it's always, um, and I always bring this out. It's the human connection, right? There's people that view this show that are looking to get into real estate that are in real estate. And one thing that I love about Pace is he saw the need for the mindset inside of the group and has brought experts for you. As I'm looking on your Instagram page, you're into music. People like that are highly passionate people. Um, and I can tell that talking to you. So I just want to ask you two quick questions is uh, with this mindset piece, a lot of people are always struggling with their why or struggling and they're hitting ceilings. So I want to know, and I'm even more curious with us just talking this first time is how did you integrate? So we have music, your why we have real estate and obviously to live um, with your why intently, or we try to intently every single day, how did you integrate those pieces so we can talk to people that are struggling, right? Because if we don't know our why we hit ceilings, right? In our business and our personal life. So there's people that are struggling out there and all of this value of the real estate stuff is going to give them value. But how did you integrate real estate with your why? Um, it's, you know, tell us a little bit about that with people that are struggling with that. Yeah. I mean, you know, to integrate with my why is because, like I said earlier, I think because I've been doing a career, lucky, fortunate enough to do something I love for 35 mm -hmm. plus years and still doing it. So one day, what am I going to do? I chose a career that doesn't have a retirement plan, you know, so mm -hmm. what am I going to do? I, I have a great life. I'm, you know, I, I do well, but what am I going to do? Yeah, someday I'm not going to sing. So that mindset scared me and what am I going to do? And I love real estate. I've had success on houses. So I didn't know. I thought I knew it until I found this mentorship and it, now it really set me at ease because I know I'm going to be okay. No matter what happens at the end, I know what I've just done in the last six months and what I've learned and put into use I can do. And, and the beauty of this is I could still go rock the stages everywhere and still do this real estate. And, okay. you know, I have a lot of time during the day to still do this. Mm -hmm. So my why is just, I, I'm very fortunate. My wife gets to travel with me. She's she's the band's assistant. So we're Amazing. fortunate that we get to do this together and travel the world and, and do this together. So we're very fortunate in that sense, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, but I think I was lucky in this because everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. COVID, maybe not so much, but, you know, I, I wouldn't have found pace and really had the time to put in like I did for this and wow, you know, the results and the people and the friends and family and the mentorship. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the daily dial every day and I'm, I'm in this closure competition. So all this stuff is just, I'm just going at it. I'm just, I'm just taking action, I guess is the word, you know? Right. right. Well, I love that. That's the neat thing about real estate, right? I always look at real estate. Sometimes our passion is involved in it, but it's a vehicle for people. It's a vehicle for people to create wealth, to have some type of impact, like on your family's life, that being able to travel with your wife and do that, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That, that is amazing. And, and right, the end goal is happiness, right? That's what that's success it. is. That's yeah. the end goal. And real estate, you integrating that was able to give you exactly what you wanted. And that's um, that's amazing. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I want to know more about your your songs. And, and now I'm playing to come. Yeah. Hey, are you here? So this is <laughs> amazing. Well, yeah. well, things really took off when I shared my with my personal life what I'm doing because I was real right. private. Didn't think I wanted to share, so mm -hmm. I was getting to let everybody know. 
until some people said, no, you got to own it. So I said, all right. So I, I started posting my Instagram, what I'm doing. Next thing you know, hey, I got houses. I got properties. I'm looking for this. Just networking. I'm getting all this traction just from networking. And yeah. now I keep sharing. And now it's it's just it's growing. It's just it's crazy. It's good. It will get to a point where you can't turn it off. It's just going to continue and continue and continue. And you'll just be known. It's kind of like Uncle Lanza. Like you just become this <laughs> legendary figure inside of, you know, creative finance. So I want to encourage people that are paying attention. Please email Chuck at discoveryhomesolutions.com. If you guys have deals, are there any areas that you won't work, Chuck? Are you only working in California or will you do JV deals all over? We'll do JV deals all over. Um, right now, we're just California, Arizona, Florida, Georgia, uh, Connecticut right now. So, And if you if it's an area that you won't do a deal in, I'm sure you could leverage another sub two student as boots on the ground and still help somebody get a deal done if they emailed you and said, hey, Chuck, I need help on an ovation agreement. Chuck, I need help on this. Chuck, I need a help on a wrap. Chuck, whatever you need help with, I'm sure Chuck can help you guys out. And I'd, I'd love to be there to help. And and since I made that post last week, I've had a floodgates of Novation people reaching out. So I've been talking nonstop Novation and helping people with that. And Novation so. Nation, bro. Love it. Right. That's right. Well, thank you, Chuck Billy. And thank you, Rochelle Jarvis, our uh, most beautiful co-host. She is unbelievable. If you guys need help with contracts, you guys need help with, with transaction coordinating, you guys need help with foreclosures getting stopped or extended, this is the girl. <laughs> she, yeah. she wrote four promissory notes for me the other day twice because I was awesome. like, I was like, I'm going to make a change. And she's like, no problem. I'll write four promissory notes and fix them in 15 minutes. They're in your email. Thank you so much. Guys, if you need help with anything uh, real estate contract related, real estate transaction co coordination related, anything with promissory notes or getting your private lenders, the right documentation, whatever it is, Rochelle Jarvis, constantclose.com is the shit. And Chuck Billy, the man with two names, your yeah. Instagram is Chuck Mother Effing Billy, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. F C K N. Love it. That's right. So guys, thank you so much. This is another episode of Get Creative. Thanks for listening to the Get Creative podcast. If you enjoyed this content, like, subscribe, and share with your friends.